Hey there everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, this is Spiraling Helix. Last time we explored a little bit of Atlantica, came to the palace, and Triton has been extremely mean, and such. But this time we have to keep going with Atlantica. I hate saying that, because Atlantica sucks! Anyway, so one thing about Atlantica in particular, it does not tell you what you're meant to do. And I'm fine with games like not holding your hand and telling you what to do, but it's just bad in Atlantica, because, like, in some cases you can guess, but I believe there's a cutscene here, so I'm just going to shut up. Oh, never mind, I'm going to talk about this. Come to my grotto, I want to show you something. There it is, see? Ooh, okay, cool. Uh, forgetting the grotto, there is now a new feature in quite a few of these overworld little areas of Atlantica. We can now grab onto this dolphin, which will just swim around and we can let go by hitting like circle. And it's basically a fast form of transport. Now, this is a new heartless, although it will look very familiar. This is the sheltering zone, I believe it's called. Sweet, okay, that's good. So what the sheltering zone does, it's basically a giant sea neon, except it's... Like, when you def it has more health, it's tankier, it's bigger. But it, when you defeat it, or reduce its health, it has a very high chance of spawning into even more sea neons, like three sea neons, I think it is. Anyway, I'm not going to spend time running around killing enemies, I just want to head in here. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I have collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday, I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I mean, I still do. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But your father said, oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants to let me do anything. He just, he just doesn't understand. Well, with that, I believe talking to Flounder progresses. There's this really big f Okay. No, he doesn't progress. But if we leave here, I believe we might see a little cutscene. Yet another big baddie. But, now that we are here, so we haven't really been told what to do. I don't know if they've made it better in Final Mix or in some of the HD releases for Final Mix. And like, Flounder might not have left that hint to you. But, this isn't the part where you can get lost. Not quite yet. So what we need to do now is, well... That dolphin is, uh, whoops, that dolphin is now swimming around which will help us swim against currents. Now where have we seen a current before? Hmm. Well, oh, there's a lot of these. So I think, that, talking about the sheltering zones again. So these guys, now, th you'll see there's two of them here. I think the, so a brief way that it will work, I think, is that, so it's either one will... Like, it's either I can do enough damage quickly where I kill it, or, like, it's specifically set so, like, one will always drop more Heartless. So here, you'll see it runs out of health and then it will despawn. It does give the experience still, though, but it won't drop any orbs. 
dropped, it like spawned so many more of these guys. So, in terms of experience, it's better if they split apart, but it's just more annoying because Atlantica sucks. Oh lord, I hate, I, I hate this place like so much. Least favorite place in the whole game. Anyway, I'm prob, I'm gonna speed forward to. Oh no, never mind. Okay, so these guys spawn again. Seems to spawn quite often. So I'm gonna. Try and throw this off properly. I want to cast stop on each of these. I do get tech points. Do they drop? I think it's just magic orbs. Yes. So they won't really drop anything else. No items, just magic orbs. Notice how it's counting down like three, two. I wonder what the one could be. Now, yeah, where is this? Third? Oh, there it is. Easier to see them all from this way in. But spawning the. Like, doing that properly for all three of these guys will get this guy to spawn. This is the... I'm going to say the pink Agaricus. Now, you can see it's got two hit points here. And what if hitting it will make it despawn immediately. What you want to do is cast stop and then you want to get as many hits as you can possible on it. So, I'm going to cast... I'm going to cast arrow on... Oh, now I can't cast stop. Oh, well, I'll just hit it then. Oh, can I? There we go. So, no? Okay. Guess... Don't tell me I just have to leave because I can't cast stop. Doing a combo is just like, no. Oh, I, I get magic by hitting it. I'm going to speed this up because this is going to take forever. Actually, I'm just remembering how the magic mechanic works. When you get rid of the orange and then blue and then there's orange again. So, I'm going to cast arrow on each of us. Oh, that uses that used up more than I thought. Megaretha, quick. One on Goofy. And then I'll cast stop on it. Okay, so... You want to hit it as many times as you can now. And as you can see, for the amount of hits, it'll take damage and you'll get more tech points. So that's how it works. You want to get... Oh, the best you can do, I believe, is getting 100, which will kill it. And it's incredibly hard to do, actually. And you might have just seen briefly that dolphin charged through this room into the next area. Which is what we actually want to do, but I should probably heal. I should probably heal. I'm gonna heal. There we go. Okay, now, just gonna take care of these enemies. So you'll see these guys spawning everywhere now. But, and search ghosts? No? Okay. And I want to head out this way. Anyway, um, so it's just, you can't really fight it here in Atlantica. However, you can in Deep Jungle. That's where it's recommended to fight it. There's a very recommended pattern like cast uh, arrow, like the strongest form of arrow, I think, on each of your party members. And then cast stop, and then you do, like, you target the head and you use a specific magic, like, ability. And you just keep spamming that and hopefully you can get up to like 100 hits if your party members behave as well. So that one's going to be one of the last materials I actually managed to get. But I'm just going to speed cut this footage out unless I get a level up while I kill all the enemies around here. You do need to kill all the enemies around here, worth noting. Oh, that's something I never considered. Oh... Oh, actually, crap, that doesn't make... Oh, crap. Okay, so we saw Ariel get a level up there, and she got more health, and because these world party members aren't in every place, like, aren't with you all across the different worlds, that's why I don't go into their levels too in detail, but they're... It, I just realized that means if Donald has got a level up recently, I'm not going to see it because 
he's not in our party right now. Which could be an issue, actually. Now, I believe also with these guys, they'll just die if there's enough enemies on screen, or... I was gonna say sprites, but... If there's enough enemies on... Like, in the area around you, then I don't think they'll split up, split up just because then... Like, there's so many enemies on screen that the game will barely be able to handle it. But I'm gonna go in here and change... Donald back into our party. Also, I don't think I stepped into this save point. Oh, no, I did, because that's how I put Ariel in my party. Anyway, I'm going to bring Donald back in just so I actually see if, if he gets a level up. Because he could have got one recently, and I hope he didn't, because then you guys would have missed it. Actually, I should have a look at what level he's at now. That'll tell me. Uh, 29th. No, it doesn't look like he got level recently. That's good. Okay, so now I think we've defeated most of... Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, no, I missed him. We've defeated a lot of the enemies. So there's still a few around. But you want to grab onto the dolphin. You can't have enemies nearby because you won't be given the option to grab it. But the dolphin will swim up into the calm depths against the current here. Bringing us up here into this tunnel that we couldn't enter before. Brings us to the sunken ship, which is great. Because it's a new area. Now, if I'm right about this, I believe... No, I don't think so. So I don't think that enemies will spawn here. No. Okay. We want to head inside the ship. Something's following us. The music has stopped. Ah. And we have a shark. It won't hit us. No, we're okay. Wonder what happens if it actually was higher when it came in. But opening this chest, hmm, its shape reminds me of something. We obtained a crystal trident. You need to get that just so you know, but... We're not done in the ship yet, there's still more chests we can get. Metal shard, and behind this... These boxes, we can go down further, this camera... Seriously. Open this clam, and this gives us a mithril. Okay. Now, heading out here, I think we are about to face off with... The shark. So Heartless won't spawn. So, he's going to be swimming around somewhere. There he is. Now, this shark, I'm not going to do a bio of, because you never have to fight him. So, this shark is just like Sabor, actually, from Deep Jungle. Quite a few similarities between Deep Jungle and here, actually. But it's just like Sabor in, in the fact that he's not a heartless. He, he, he'll spawn in a few various areas, mainly this one. And he's just there to give you experience when you defeat him. Won't drop anything. You never have to actually fight it. Um, unlike Sabor, we actually do fight. Like, one time you can die to Sabor the first time, but the second... Oh, 100 points is a lot. But the second time you fight S Sabor, that's a proper boss fight. That's why... Hurry up and swim away. Thank you. Obtained our elixir. Great. Getting quite a few elixirs now. There's still a few things I want to do around here, and that's why I'm still here. Mythical Shard. And there's a tunnel there. I think that's the one I want to take. It's also worth noting, though, behind here, examine. I can examine something there, but... What is that thing? We can't do anything about it. The game's quite helpful, though. It's like, it, it lets you know it's there. Like, you go anywhere near it, and it'll appear going like, Huh? What is this? But I think that's it for this area, so let's head into the Undersea Gorge. This is a pretty short area, I believe. And very convenient. Extremely convenient. So if we examine this, let's hit it. Swim up here. And coming up here with the water rippling, that will shoot the chest up. And give us a nice shortcut down into that area with the shark. And we... Oh, that's a Norwakalkum. Um, no, maybe... Oh, we can. That thing does disappear. Good. 
Now, that... That was a weird arrow from Donald. Now that we have that crystal trident though, we've seen something similar to it right here in Ariel's Grotto, so let's swim up to this. Ariel, you disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! How could you? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh. As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. something we could do. Wait, maybe she can be of some help. Yes, maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. Person I can help. You called, my dear? You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. Now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. Huh? Now listen carefully. Okay, so it's this point. Flounder, please help me out. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, this is the point in the... in Atlantica that it does not tell you what to do. Like, seriously, you, you have no cl clue and the game refuses to like even give you one I, I think I'll go to Triton's palace and see if I can find something there that will tell me because I seriously don't have a single clue as to what I'm doing so I'll just defeat these enemies and then we'll do that okay so while I was fighting these enemies I just realized something guard and dodge roll don't actually do anything because well you're underwater and you can't use them so oh I forgot I got treasure magnets so I think I'll equip those two or de-equip I don't know and put berserk and treasure magnet on so treasure magnet draws items from further away in like draws in some those orbs and all of that from a bit of distance which is nice Anyway, I'll just keep fighting these heartless. Okay, so swimming towards the palace is the trigger. I think the keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing, I 
can help you get to these other worlds you long for. Okay, so swimming towards the palace triggers that. I'm really unsure what's next. I hope going into the, like, going towards Triton's throne will trigger the next thing. Oh, I missed a clam here. So, I thought there was a clam under this bridge. I missed it. It gives me an elixir, that's good. Okay, so just about to swim into Triton's palace, we have a new Heartless. I'm not dying this time, I'm sick of dying. I, actually, I think Monstro, I didn't die Monstro. I, I've got through a world without dying, guys. I can't believe it. Oh well, I could die now on a revisit. It's always possible. Anyway. This new enemy, I believe it is called the Aqua Tank. You'll see it in the bio. But this enemy is... Basically, it carries three of the screwdrivers. And it gives you a fair bit of experience, but it likes to swim around quickly and swing into you. And it can do a lot of damage. So I'm gonna check I got that enemy name right. Um, characters, Heartless... Um, all of these say new. Okay, so got that right, got Aqua Tank. Yes, I got all the names right. Anyway, Pink uh, Gericus, so that's that other one. Oh, it's that blue one's called Red Truffle, not Blue Mushroom. Anyway, Trinity List. How are we? we only have two more Jump Trinity, sorry, Jump Charge and Ladder Trinities, and with the Dalmatians, we can check the world. We have them all in Deep Jungle and Olympus Coliseum. And you'll notice there aren't... Oh, missed a lot in Agrabah, but you'll notice there aren't any in At Atlantica. That's a good thing. But we have a cutscene, I believe. So I'm gonna be quiet again. <laughs> the trident is mine at last. And I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Why not? Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? Oh, yes. We had a deal, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the heartless. Where can I find the deal? The deal is not here. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs> Daddy! The Trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait, I'm going with you. My father is hurt, and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel. No, I don't want you in my party. Ursula draws power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. So, in the upcoming fight, you are going to want some magic healing things in your in your um, easy to access inventory. Uh, Megary, oh there it is. So I've rearranged my inventory, the others they're probably not going to attack it anyway. But with that, all we have to do is try and find Ursula somehow. Have no idea how that's gonna happen though. So yeah. Anyway, I think Actually, I'm going to end off the episode over in Ariel's Grotto. Or whatever that place is called. Because I think there might be a few things on the way there. Maybe? Please? Please let me be right. So slow. The only good thing about Atlantica is the music. That's what I'm saying. 
Okay, so these guys are now spawning all around the place. And they're, 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 they're not really too bad. As you can see, when you damage them, you can actually damage the screwdrivers while they're hanging on. And that will release them. Oh, and the level up, more AP for Sora. That's... Actually, that'll be useful because we do have a few abilities lying around that aren't equipped. And I believe Sonic Blade and any of those sorts of abilities won't work underwater as well. Just in case you were wondering. Ooh, come on. I completely missed that attack. I'm almost there. I'm get okay, so while I'm fighting these guys, I'm just gonna begin my outro to end off this episode. So, we explored a, a little bit more of it. Seriously. And a level up for Goofy. Wow, I can't even get through this. But we explored more of Atlantica. And unfortunately, Ursula has taken control of Tri Triton's Trident. And basically has the power of the seas. So we're going to have to deal with her now. So all we have to do is find a way to get to her. And Flounder says there's this strange boulder by the sunken ship. And it has some kind of marking. So that's what we're going to go do. And when I do, before I do that, just going to let that thing spin. And I'm going to end off the episode. So next time we're going to try and hunt down Ursula. See you guys next time. This is Spiraling Helix signing out. Bye bye.